the reprimand going in. Golden Garden is to us. But that's um, about it. Very, very hot order of warm order, of course, reprimand. And he's in. That's it. Lined up. Out and running. Six furlongs the trip. And Golden Garden gets a very good break. Reprimand a little bit slowly into his try, but uh, well over five furlongs to make up the lost ground. And Golden Garden really uh, stepping on the gas leads from Intimidate with the white cap, Stripe cap inspiration, that's a blue and green. Chris Field with the Stripe sleeves and the Stripe jacket Bay Hero. And then comes Reprimand, who's last at this stage on the left of the picture. They've got four furlongs left to go. And it's Golden Garden who blazes the trail. The odds on favorite on the left of the picture with him is Bay Hero. Then comes Chris Field and on the, the two on the right, uh, into intimidate and with a stripe cap inspiration they're halfway and golden garden leads golden garden from intimidate then bay hero but look at the favorite reprimand and steve gorth nearest to us intimidate going on though by half a length two furlongs to go intimidate from golden garter but here steve gorth has to stretch and go on as intimidate leads from reprimand in second place intimidate in the lead from reprimand who's picking up inside the final furlong and reprimand throws down a challenge to intimidate but intimidate fights back he hasn't read the script intimidate and reprimand they're inside the final furlong intimidate and reprimand reprimand's having to work reprimand goes on by length though up towards the line reprimand intimidate a shake mohammed one two third was golden garter four chris field fifth was uh, inspiration and last of all bay hero and so the result of this the scottish picketable jim cracker win for number eight reprimand owned by shake mohammed trained at newmarket by henry cecil bred by mayday investments limited the seven to two on winner of this uh, Group two, two-year-old race, and giving Steve Cawthon a double here this afternoon. Second is number five, Intimidate, written by Tony Ives. Third, Golden Garter. A terrific run for Gavin Darley. And for my money, that takes Sir Henry Cecil past the £2 million prize money barrier on win and place winnings, win and place earnings here and abroad. But it was a much harder struggle than I thought it was going to be, for Steve Cawthon was cruising as we joined the replay. He had to work. Yes, Steve has had to work surprisingly hard. Golden Garter's in front here, but it's Intimidate who makes the, or turns this race into something that we certainly didn't expect. Uh, Intimidate going past Golden Garter. You'll see, I think, that Intimidate begins to hang quite badly in the end, but nevertheless, he's run a marvelous race, given his, not his stable companion, his owner companion, a tremendous lead. Now, here comes Reprimand. At this stage, you thought he was going to go past easily, but he doesn't. Intimidate runs on supremely gamely. Steve Cawthon has to pick up his whip and show it to Reprimand. They, don't, they come quite close together then, but I don't think there's any worry about that. And now Reprimand's back on the bit. Nevertheless, Intimidate